Good morning, everyone. It was so nice to see so many of you yesterday um, at the drive through picking up your star gifts. I have to say that it just made my week. Um, if you weren't able to come and get your star gifts, please um, let me know. I will make sure to get some out to you. You can also call the church um, or leave a message and we will make sure we get them to you. We have stars for both adults and children. The children's ones are probably for kids that are still maybe 12 or younger. Those that are older um, could get the adult ones. So please let me know or like I said, call the church and we will make sure that we get those to you. So today I wanna to finish up our story about Jonah and the whale. And so let's review. We knew that God asked Jonah to go to Nineveh, and Jonah said, no way. So instead of going to Nineveh, he decided to get on a boat and go to Tasha, which is the opposite direction. Then when he was on the boat going to Nineveh, there was a storm, and he was sleeping in the bottom of the boat, and he slept in the storm. And everybody else around him was worried, but not Jonah. He just stayed there in the bottom of the boat. Then the people on the boat said, hey, Jonah, what's going on? And Jonah said, you know what? I did not listen to God. And so they threw him overboard on the ship and he landed in the water. And when that happened, the seas were calm again. So here we got Jonah. And look what happens. He gets swallowed up by a whale. A whale. I don't know about you, but I would be very scared about that. So here's Jonah, and he's in the belly of the whale with all kinds of other things that are inside the whale's um, belly. And Jonah decides, you know what? This is just too much. I got to start praying to God. And he starts praying to God. And he says, God, you know what? I will do what you ask now. And so he spent three days and three nights in the belly of the whale. And then God heard his prayer. And look what God did. He spit him out onto a soft beach. Like, God is so compassionate, isn't he? If we just listen, he will, like, make sure that we are just taken care of. So there, the whale spits Jonah out onto a beach. And because he did that, Jonah said, hey, you know what, God? I will go to Nineveh. So Jonah went over to Nineveh. And in Nineveh, God had wanted him to go there because the people in Nineveh were not living really great lives. And he thought that Jonah could talk to them and show them and tell, and tell them that, you know, really the way to live is to be in harmony with God. Harmony means that we get along with God. And so Jonah went to there, and he, when he got to Nineveh, he said, Hey, people, stop. God does not like what's happening right now. So let's stop our behaviors that aren't good, and let's instead turn our lives over to God. <clears throat> and God must have known Jonah would be a great messenger, because when he did that, the people of Nineveh listened to God. <clears throat> and the the idea behind the story is that sometimes we do not do what God asks, but that does not mean that God doesn't love us. And that's all we have to do is to ask God to forgive us. Just like Jonah, he said, you know what, God, I am sorry. I didn't listen to you. I did not go to Nineveh. And as soon as he did that, God helped him out. And Jonah did what God had asked. So that any time when we are not listening to God, it does not mean, first of all, that God is going to have us swallowed up into the belly of a whale. But he is going to keep telling us, hey, listen to me, listen to me. Um, just as he told Jonah, go to Nineveh. And then he went to Tasha. And God kept telling him in the storm, go to Tasha, uh, go to Nineveh. And he didn't. And then he told him again, Go to um, Nineveh, and he didn't, and he ended up in the water. Go to Nineveh, and he ended up in the belly of a whale. Go to Nineveh, and he ended up on the seashore. 
But you know what? No matter how many times that we don't listen to God, God always forgives us. No matter what, there is nobody else that will forgive us like God. And it can be a hundreds and hundreds of times that we're not listening, but it only takes one time for us to say we are sorry. So I hope that you've enjoyed our series on Jonah and the Whale and um, learned a few things. <clears throat> and next week, I will start a whole new series with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, it looks like it's going to be a, a nice day, but it's going to be cold outside. So bundle up, and I hope you have some um, time outside today. Peace, everyone.